Stop setting weight loss goals. Your weight can be one small piece of the overall picture of how healthy you are, but it is an unpredictable, unreliable, and ultimately really terrible way to measure progress. I have a really great example of this for you. There was someone who was constantly striving to lose 15 pounds. She'd start a diet plan, an exercise program, and for a month she'd work her butt off. And after that month of hard work, she lost two pounds and wasn't excited about it. And actually, she was so upset about it, she gave up. She went through this cycle a couple times, but then finally, she did something a little bit different. For six weeks, she focused on her diet, she exercised with a trainer, and she really gave it her all. At the six week mark, she lost two pounds. But this time, she was super excited about it. And that's because before she started, in addition to weight, she measured her body fat percentage, her waist circumference, bicep circumference, thigh circumference, and overall exercise performance. And while a two pound weight loss might not seem amazing in her eyes, her biceps grew by a half an inch. She lost 1% of body fat. Her waist circumference decreased by an inch. Her her thigh circumference decreased by two inches. She went from being able to do a 30 second plank to being able to do a 90 second plank. And when you think about all of those other things, who cares about the weight? Maybe check your weight every six months, every year, but don't let weight loss be your milestone. How do you feel? How are you performing? Those are the important things. So maybe the next time you're thinking about setting a weight loss goal, forget about weight and instead measure your progress with more predictable, reliable markers of health.